It is Wednesday, December 16th, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Today on the show, we've got the schedules for the ASCS and Short Track Super Series to talk about. Tanner Thorson has another new ride. We've got some new stats to take a look at, and there are some new podcast episodes this week. But first, this episode is brought to you by Blood Lubricants. Have you checked out Blood yet? If you're riding in your car or at work today listening to me and thinking, you know, I'm not a dirt racer, why do I care about racing oil? Let me stop you. I think, you know, besides their high quality synthetic racing oils, Blood has all kinds of other products to check out as well. Yes, racers should check them out because you can basically have all your needs covered by them in one stop. We've talked a bunch about all of their race wins in 2020, but non-racers will find all sorts of great products as well. If you need oil for your side-by-side, Blood's got it. If you need high quality ETF for your car or truck, Blood's got it. Uh, if you need penetrating lube or some cleaning products for your garage, definitely check out Blood. I was actually out in the driveway yesterday using their detailer on my car. Got a, you know, got Got a nice microfiber, sprayed it on, wiped it off. Car looks good. Done in a couple of minutes. You know, so definitely check out uh, all of the other things that Blood has to offer. If you'd like to see the full line of Blood products, visit bloodlubricants.com. That's B-L-U-D lubricants.com. You can also click the banners at the top of the pages at dirttracker.com. I'm sure you've noticed those along the way as well. Uh, and when you're ready to buy, Blood is offering Dirt Tracker listeners a nice little discount. To get 25% off most products, use code DIRT at checkout. That's D-I-R-T, all caps, at checkout. Luke Soul American Sprint Car Series dropped their 2021 schedule late yesterday. It features 61 races across 35 tracks in 19 states. This will be the 30th season of ASCS National Sprint Car Competition. Action gets underway February 26th and 27th at Canyon Speedway Park in Arizona before heading to California in early March. The season closes out October 15th and 16th at Devil's Bowl Speedway in Texas. In between, lots of traditional stops. You know, I-30 for the Short Track Nationals, Knoxville in August for the 360 nationals uh, there are also some new events on the schedule including two nights at circle city raceway in indianapolis on august 20th and 21st uh, only two tba events on the schedule right now july 25th and september 11th uh, fans can keep up with the series all season long live on flow racing and racing boys that's a new thing for this year that the flow racing is going to have the full ASCS schedule um, along with all of the other things they have to offer, including Chili Bowl, All-Stars, USAC, you name it over there. Uh, so lots of stuff to be able to watch next year on flow racing. If you'd like to see the full 2021 ASCS schedule, you can visit ASCSRacing.com. And speaking of schedules, the Short Track Super Series for Modifieds in the Northeast also announced their 2021 schedules yesterday. That's right, I said schedules. Uh, as has been the case traditionally, the STS will feature two regions, North and South, featuring separate schedules and points funds for the Modifieds. The South region will have stops at Georgetown, Sealands Grove, Port Royal, Delaware International, New Egypt, Big Diamond, and Bridgeport. The North region will head to Accord, Outlaw, Pencan, Big Diamond, Fonda, Bloomsburg Fair, Woodhull, Thunder Mountain, and Afton Motorsports Park. The October show at Port Royal will pay $50,000 to win, and the September race at Fonda will pay $53,000 to win. We talked about that uh, a couple weeks ago on the show. Also on the docket are five nights at Bubba Raceway Park in Florida in January and four nights at Chatham Speedway in Louisiana in November. So plenty of opportunities for Northeast competitors uh, to compete, not only in the Northeast, but also in some other places as well. Uh, Dirt Track Digest will carry live streaming coverage of the racing all season long. If you'd like to see the full schedule, visit shorttracksuperseries.com. There was an interesting bit of Chili Bowl ride news yesterday that we didn't see coming. A little while back, it was out that Tanner Thorson would race at Chili Bowl with the Tom Malloy-owned team in their number 25. Thorson finished out the USAC season in the Malloy car and picked up a few wins. But yesterday, Dave Mack Motorsports put out a video announcing they are bringing Thorson to Chili Bowl in a seventh entry for the team. They had previously announced Ace McCarthy, Michael Facino, Noah Gass, and Jace McIntosh would pilot entries in Tulsa. So we're still waiting on the names for the other two Dave Mack rides at this point. In the video, not only did they announce Thorson will race for them at the Chili Bowl, but also for the full 2021 year. They didn't say specifically which races or which series, but I'm assuming that means the full USAC National Midget schedule and then whatever else they want to race, Power Eye shows and the like. Um, you know, I, I can't imagine you sign a guy like Tanner Thorson and then, don't, you know, don't try to go chase the USAC National Midget Championship. Um, so now the Malloy team has an opening besides Courtney Crone and Alex Bright on the entry list. They do have three cars on the entry list. With the way that car ran with Thorson behind the wheel, I'd say some guys will be clamoring for that opportunity to run at the Chili Bowl. So we'll stay tuned on uh, who they end up putting in that other car. Still waiting on lots of other ride announcements. So, you know, like I mentioned before, Klaus and Marshall is out there as well with all of, uh, you know, their seats still effectively open. At last check, we are still sitting at 152 entries on the Chili Bowl website. Uh, you can find that entry list at chilibowl.com. 
As I worked through my list of improvements and additions to DirtTracker.com, I made some changes to the analytics section in the last 24 hours. Uh, first, and something maybe people will notice, not notice, the, the stat breakdown pages now should load a lot quicker, especially for the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series. Uh, there's a lot of number crunching on going on for those pages, and I made some code improvements to kind of speed those load times up a little bit. Uh, so if you spend a lot of time on those pages, hopefully you'll notice that improvement. Also, for both World of Outlaws Series and the All-Stars, I've added some new stats. First is wins by qualifying position. Um, those shows where feature winners, uh, th that stat shows where feature winners qualified for each race. So for example, the World of Outlaws Sprint Cars, 27 winners were also the night's quick timer back through 2018. That's about 13.5% of winners over that spam. That stat is available for the Outlaws and the All-Stars. So basically what you'll get is a list of all of the start position or all the qualifying positions um, that have had winners in the last three seasons uh, for the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series anyway. How many times it's happened and the percentage so you can get a full list of that the other new stat is wins by dash finish uh, this is available for the world of outlaws sprinkler series and the all-stars uh, those are the only two that run at dashes on a regular basis so for example here through 2020 and 2019 all-star races the dash winner was the feature winner in 43 percent of races so as we kind of continue to work towards a better prediction formula and a kind of better understanding of, of how you where you end up in qualifying and the dashes affects the rest of your night these are really solid stats to look at we can not only use a lot of these numbers to predict winners you know, we, we did some winning predictions, you know, through the season in 2020. We'll certainly keep that up in 2021. Um, and, you know, we were doing that obviously in advance of those race days. But we can also do some real-time projections as the night progresses as well, kind of where people end up and then see where their chances lie in the future. I think we'll have some really kind of cool stuff uh, to talk about next season with some of these numbers. So if you'd like to find those numbers and a whole bunch more, you can find those at dirttracker.com slash analytics. There are a bunch of new dirt racing podcast episodes this week to check out. Open Red has a cool episode with retired racer Dion Hindi. I listened to that one yesterday. Really neat stuff there with Dion. Loud Pedal has new shows with Parker Price Miller and Emerson Axum. Michael Rigsby is talking to Rick Ecker. Quick Time has Devin Berkeley and Mark Birch. Wednesdays with Wayne has Greg Porter. Passing Points has a conversation with Sam Haverteep Jr. Midwest Autosports has Blake Nimmy and Forward Bite has Brownie Brown. To see the full list of shows and recent episodes, visit dirttracker.com slash podcasts. There are two items on the streaming schedule today. Flow Racing has the usual USAC 24-7 and Dirt Vision has Dirt Car Esports action from the virtual Weed Sports Speedway. You can watch that show for free. Tonight's Esports action is actually the first time competitors will race with the new Big Block Modifieds that have been added to iRacing in recent weeks. To see the full daily streaming schedule, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. That's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Wednesday. You can find Dirt Tracker Daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe and leave a review. You can also watch the show every day on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, if you are watching the show, feel free to leave comments in the comment section about uh, what's going on. If you have questions, um, reactions to the things we talk about, certainly more than welcome to do that there. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com and you can follow along at facebook.com slash dirttracker, twitter.com slash dirttracker, and the website itself, dirttracker.com. You can follow me personally on Twitter at Justin underscore feed there. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.